There's just one more thing that you need to know about monopolies, and that is about their welfare implications. A couple of videos ago, a few videos ago, I, did, I went into uh, an analysis of welfare implications and various things. So let's go ahead and do the welfare implications of a monopoly. Okay, so we need to have a useful bench line to compare a monopoly to something that uh, would make some sense. Uh, so one baseline that we've liked in the past is to have a competitive equilibrium. Uh, now, competitive equilibrium here is sort of hard to conceptualize because this is a one firm industry. One consequence of, of a competitive industry is that the industry's marginal cost, which is represented by the supply curve, intersects the, the demand curve uh, at the quantity that we actually choose. So let's just suppose that the baseline is picking the quantity and price at which marginal cost and demand cross. So that's what we're going to get here. That's not going to be optimal for the monopolist because they pick a different quantity and they're maximizing profit. But that's going to be a useful bench line to consider, well, what does this monopolist do to social surplus? So in the competitive scenario, we can go ahead and do our uh, consumer surplus and producer surplus. Consumer surplus would be A plus B plus C. Producer surplus would be D plus E. Add them together, you get A through D as your social surplus. So what does the monopoly do? Well, the monopolist restricts quantity and raises the price. So what we'll see is that the monopolist, by doing that, gets producer surplus of D plus B. And the consumer no longer gets A plus B plus C, but he gets area A. He has to pay the monopoly price, but he can go up to the demand curve uh, from that monopoly price out to the monopoly quantity. That's area A. So in total, the monopoly scenario produces a total surplus of A plus D plus B. Now this gives us a deficit. Uh, what we see is that there is a deadweight loss to the monopoly. We don't get the total surplus of the competitive scenario, and we don't get it for this region right here. This green triangle, C plus E, is the monopoly's deadweight loss. And it is a deadweight loss because there are units that go untraded, namely the units of quantity between QM and QC, go untraded, for which the marginal cost of producing those units is less than the marginal willingness to pay, as represented by the demand curve. And so what we'll see is that there's a deadweight loss to the monopoly, but this is a, a deadweight loss that arises out of individually maximizing behavior. Um, so this deadweight loss is a loss to society that no one gets. And, we, it, and society gets this deadweight loss because the monopoly prefers area D plus B to area D plus E.